After what probably felt like the longest ride of his life from the Neverland Ranch, it was the final time Michael Jackson would walk into this courthouse. Of all the high and low moments in Jackson's life and career, no moment was more dramatic, as the man who was once and still might be the most famous person on the planet walked in to hear these words. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon Not a guilty child. on all counts. A stunning moment. Jackson leaning forward and clasping his hands. The crowd outside, mostly Jackson supporters, silence as they waited for word, then exploding. Afterward, it was as if nothing had happened. No change of expression on Jackson's face as he left court. Jackson's trial lasted 66 days. 140 witnesses testified. Jurors were presented with a mountain of evidence, including videos, photos, phone logs, and even the singer's large collection of pornographic magazines. In the end, the case boiled down to the credibility of the teen accuser and his family. On the stand, the accuser seemed surly and evasive. He and his family members made inconsistent, contradictory statements and even admitted lying. Observers said the mother seemed paranoid and even delusional when she took the stand. She also took the fifth, refusing to answer questions about allegations she committed mail fraud and perjury. I think that jurors were openly questioning her sanity. I think that she really was a difficult witness, the most bizarre witness I've ever seen on the stand. Some of the last words the jury heard were from a videotaped police interview with the accuser five months after he says he was molested. The then 13-year-old appeared very different. He was emotional and seemed reluctant to speak. But the defense also played a final tape of Jackson, outtakes from this documentary, in which he discussed how much he cares for children. With both those voices ringing in their heads, the jury went off to deliberate. After Jackson left, attorneys on both sides talked to reporters. I'm not going to look back and apologize for anything we've done. We did a very conscientious, thorough job, as did the Sheriff's Department investigating this case. The question now is what is next for Michael Jackson? He'll likely take some time off to recover for what's been a grueling trial that took quite a toll on his health. He also may go on a worldwide victory tour with his famous brothers to celebrate his acquittal.